A couple of months back when we just got our hands on Samsung's new Galaxy Note 9, we put it against the iPhone 10 in a benchmark comparison, and to be honest, we weren't that impressed. It scored better in a couple of tests, but the iPhone 10 still came out on top, even though it was 9 months old at the time. So now that the playing field has been leveled with Apple's iPhone XS Max and its new A12 Bionic processor, let's run those tests again and see how it compares. By the way, our Note 9 is the 128GB model with 6 gigs of RAM. 2 gigs more than the iPhone XS Max is 4 gigs of RAM. Starting off with Geekbench 4, the iPhone XS Max completely destroys the Note 9, especially in single core performance, almost doubling the Note 9's score. In multi-core, the difference isn't as big, but it's still a substantial improvement. For the graphics test, the Note 9 got a pretty decent score, but the XS Max scored 61% higher, and if you look at the iPhone X's score, that's a pretty massive improvement. What's interesting is that this score easily beats the 2017 MacBook and MacBook Air graphics scores. Moving on to the Antutu benchmark, the XS Max actually beats the Note 9. In our previous testing, Samsung devices usually beat iPhones in this benchmark. For example, the Note 9 scored 280,000 compared to 200,000 on the iPhone 10. This time, the iPhone XS Max blew the roof off of this benchmark, with a massive score of 364,000, much better than the Note 9's score. If you look at the detailed results, the iPhone XS Max won in every single category. Previous iPhones lost in the memory test, but with 4 gigs of RAM on the XS Max, Apple has now caught up in terms of performance. In Antutu's HTML5 test, the Note 9 actually performed fairly well, but it still couldn't keep up with the iPhone XS Max, which saw a fairly good improvement over the iPhone X score. We ran another browser benchmark, Octane 2.0, and this time, the iPhone XS Max doubled the score of the Note 9. This proves that Apple's Safari browser is very optimized and performs much better than the Note 9's default browser, and the improvement over the iPhone X is visible as well. For our final test, we ran an OpenGL graphics test. The iPhone XS Max again tops the Note 9 with a 47% higher score, and this is actually a pretty hefty improvement over the iPhone X, which scored only slightly ahead of the Note 9. Overall, we're extremely impressed with the iPhone XS Max's performance. We expected performance to increase, but not by this much, especially the huge boost in graphics. The biggest drawback to the Note 9 is that it's still packing the same Snapdragon 845 processor that came on the S9 and S9 Plus. Even the upcoming Google Pixel 3 XL is still coming with the same old Snapdragon 845, so the iPhone XS and XS Max will most likely beat that phone in performance as well. And we actually just pre-ordered one and will be doing the same comparison with that phone as well, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. In conclusion, we're not impressed with Samsung's brand new Note 9. The phones are less than a month apart in terms of release dates, and the difference in performance is huge. We'll just have to wait until spring for Samsung's S10 and see if the XS Max will outperform it. So thanks for watching guys, and let us know what you thought about this comparison in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.